Okay, once it's installed, so now I install the VirtualBox and let's do again Vagrant up. Yeah, so now we start it. Uh, this is starting the machine. Okay, now once it is initiated, let's access it. So to be able to access it, we we need to use the next command is vagrant ssh. Okay, so now the machine will open and we will we are able to use it then. Uh, if we do ls, we can see the folder here has been created. Yeah, remember the folder this folder yeah this is in the windows but this is in the vagrant yeah so this folder it's already created if we go inside see the testing it's empty if we do ls la it's nothing there yeah but here we want to create this project one yeah which will be this folder and then once the installation is done we'll, we will have a public folder where uh, where the Laravel installation will start from, yeah, uh, will ser serve to the browser, okay? So let's create this project, yeah? And uh, to be able to create that, let's go to the website here in the Laravel and let's go to the installation here. And if we get, go down, we need to use this command, but before we need to use composer global require laravel installer let's copy this yeah and um, this is because we want to use composer a laravel installer from everywhere in our homestead yeah so let's let's um let's clear that and just paste that line composer global and let's install this and after we install this we we'll sh we should be able to install um, a project, create a Laravel project in our folder, which will uh, be named um, name it uh, Project One. So we'll call this project uh, installation project creation Project One. Yeah. So let's see. It's done. Yeah. Now it's done, and let's do that. So use this command. If we go lar uh, down Laravel new and the blog should be the name of our project. Yeah. So Laravel new. Let's go to git command git bash. Yeah. So Laravel new and project one. Yeah. So remember this is our folder. Yeah. In the virtual machine which will point to this domain. Actually, this domain will point to this project in the virtual machine. Yeah, so the project files will be in both sides. This will be in the Windows and the other one which is in the virtual machine. So these two will be synchronized. Let's go back now and uh, press enter here. And now if we go here. Um, yeah, so this is the virtual uh, the homestead machine if we go to C we have testing multiple project which we will have all our projects yeah if you open this you can see it's already created yeah but this is created from uh, through the, the the virtual machine through the homestead machine yeah this command created this project let's wait until this is done and then we we need to do something extra something more to be able to uh, view the project in the browser and then we will see how to create multiple projects more projects in the same time yeah so it will be project 2 project 3 and so on Okay, so now the application is ready. So um, if we go here, we have all the structure of this project, of this project, yeah? But inside of the 
Homestead machine, the virtual machine, we have in the inside of, of this project, we have the project one, yeah. We do CD project one and LSLA is the same, yeah. We have the same project, the same folders and structure of folders and files with this one, which so those two file two folders, project one within uh, within the Windows machine with this project one with the inside of virtual machine are synchronized always which is this configuration here yeah project multiple project with this one will be uh, will have the same all we have in one will be the same in the other one and every time we change something will be the same in the other one um, Mm, is not ready because we need to do another configuration. So opening this file, yeah, hosts, yeah, which is in C window system 32 drivers E at C and hosts, yeah, and um, to be able to edit this file, you need to open it as an administrator. Um, make sure you you open this other as an administrator, and then we need to copy the IP, this IP, yeah. So just copy that this one here. And then paste it here, and uh, just do a space and add the domain. Yeah, this is the map, the the site domain. Yeah, so just copy this. This domain will point to this root in the Homestead machine. Yeah, which will be synchronized. This folder, this root will be synchronized as you, as you can see is the similar similar as here. So we'll be will be synchronized with this folder where we have our files. Okay, so let's add this domain after the IP. So just paste that and now save it. Yeah, and then we need well, if we want to access the project, just use this domain name. So just copy that and open the browser and let's see if it's working. So as you can see, the project works perfectly. And let's see how we can add another project. Yeah, let's say we want to create a second project in the same time we're using this one and a third and, and, and so on. So what we need to do is just go here. Let's clear that. And um, we just have to go back one step. CD. Yeah, we we need to stay inside of testing multiple project folder and create another Laravel project. So let's do Laravel new project project 2. Let's say project 2. Yeah. So once we done this, once we do this, this will generate another project with all the necessary uh, folders and files, uh, but inside the, the testing multi multiple projects folder. Yeah. So um, let's let's leave this work okay so now once it's done we can let's clear the screen and let's do ls ls so list all it's inside so we have project one and project two yeah so if we go to c where i have created this folder to to have all my projects created in laravel if i go inside you can see i have the second project here so this folder is synchronized with this one and now to be able to use the second project, we need to edit this folder. Yeah, uh, let's see, edit this uh, f first time. Let's edit the, um, uh, the YAML file because we need to add the second project here. So let's copy that. Yeah, so copy and just paste it here. Yeah, but don't create another section for the sites. Leave it as it is. Just copy paste the second project, which will be. So let's give it a domain name, which is project two. You can do whatever you want here. I, I just for purpose of the, for, for the purpose of uh, this example, I just create project one and project two. But you can do whatever name you you need, yeah. And then my folder is project two, okay. And then I need to add this domain on the host, yeah, host file. So let's add this one here with the IP in front so let's do that yeah so project one project two I will save this and then I will go and let's open this uh, another browser 
another tab in the browser and let's do project 2 yeah as you can see this is the second project let me let me just try to to edit this to see that this is working so let's open this open with code let's do this and let me just go to resources views and welcome and i will do this this is the project one i think yeah um laravel this is project one yeah okay so let's refresh that yeah project one and let's edit this one also let's do that and see that this is working here yeah? resources view welcome this is the file uh, which uh, is this is um, the the file used it for the home page when the projects the first time the project is created yeah, for laravel so let's edit this one just go and type here project 2 okay so let's refresh the project 2 and this is not working is not working because we forgot a very important step so don't forget about these steps otherwise this will not work we need to reload the, the vagrant machine by using also the provision flag so so let's do vagrant um, reload but we need to do provision provision yeah so this will update all the changes we have done in this folder yeah so because because we have added uh, another new project here we need to um reload the machine but using the provision yeah a flag so this is not working because we need to exit the machine by typing exit and then vagrant reload and we should do provision and now this will be reloaded and uh, we'll uh, ac uh, actually update our uh, configuration file yeah because we we have had a new project and we need to update this so let's reload the machine uh, what this will do is um, Vagran reload it will stop the machine and um, power up the machine again so it's equivalent to a vagrant halt which stops the machine and after that vagrant up so if we don't do vagrant reload we can do vagrant halt and then vagrant up but we need to do add the flag a provision which will update the configuration yeah okay so once it's done i hope this is running let's see okay so as you can see this is project one and let's see this is project two yeah let's see let's make sure this is working project testing one so this is project testing one which is the the project one yeah which let's see it's this one project one and if we go to our folder also this is this one project one yeah so this is project one let's refresh that testing one and let's refresh the second one uh, let's add something here just to make sure uh, this is working yeah and uh, save it and if we go here to the project two as you can see we have two separate projects working simultaneous yeah well this is how you can add multiple projects yeah in the same vagrant so you just need to create another folder inside of the virtual machine which is here Let, let's do vagrant ssh access the machine so once i am inside um, the only thing I need to do is create another folder. Let's see, L ls, yeah, um, cd test, testing project. So inside of here, 
let's let me clear and see so i have two projects but i can create whatever projects whatever number of projects i want here uh, but i have to make sure i uh, i add the project here also yeah the the host actually first of all i need to add another project here another map to yeah with the folder specific folder folder project 3 for example yeah and then the domain i need to add it here also in the host file and then another step which is very important it's use the vagrant reload let me just exit here and i'll show you again the command because it's very important and i need to use this command vagrant reload provision provision is very important this will act actually update our configuration file which is this one yeah i hope this makes sense it's not very difficult to create multiple projects I had also difficulty to, to use it at the beginning because I was a bit confusing with those routes. But uh, I think after this video should be easier for you to create multiple projects in the same Homestead uh, machine. I hope this video was useful for you and um, see you next time.